to reality. I've been seeking the kingdom, I still do it while the snake's still after me. I'm going up, ain't never coming down, I'm like, where is the gravity? From the outside, looking into my life, it looks like a catastrophe. But it's really a masterpiece. How everybody doing? Doing All right. good. All right, good morning, and for those who are joining us by way of our, um, our video this morning, thank you again for joining us here at the Anderson Street Community Church of Christ in our Sunday school lesson. Um, again, I want to urge you all to do what's best for you and your family as it relates to returning to school and that you prepare yourself during this epidemic. We know that this Delta variant is coming. People are always talking about, you know, well, people are going to do what they're going to do. I understand that. I just want to put certain things on your mind as it relates to that, and then we're going to get right into our lesson. Our children are our most prejudiced commodity. Man. We're charged by God to take care of them. When it comes to privileges, sometimes people think they're able the government is all up in my business. Well, here's my thing as it relates to this. Something the governor ought not to have to tell us when it comes to taking care of our children. I remember when I was going to school as a first grader, as one of our young Javar. He's going to be in first, first grade. And I know when we got ready to go, they gave us all kinds of shots. I think I feel them now. <laughs> we had four, five, six shots we had to take. And I remember when I was taking a job over there at um, uh, on Jonestown, uh, they went through my records and they found that he didn't have one of these shots. As a grown person, I had to go back and take another shot. Now, they, you say, well, the government, blah, 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 blah. You want the healthiest people around your children if you are a good parent. That's all I say about that. Amen. 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 Now, the last two times we did this experiment with regards to our lessons, my members who come to summer school, summer school on such a regular basis, they, they got quiet on me. <laughs> so today we're going to try to entice some conversation out of them today so that you can get a full idea of what our Sunday school is like, participation-wise. Amen? Amen? Now, have you ever been at a place where you've gotten into a conversation or you've seen something happen and people may ask you, how do you feel about that? And the first thing you say, I don't, I don't really know, but you know that. You know, that, 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 that left a bad taste in my mouth. You know, you don't really know how to explain to people how you really feel about it. You know you don't like it, but you don't really want to make any judgment because you really don't think you might have enough information to make a certain judgment or an educated judgment about it. So you just say stuff like, you know, that just left a bad taste in my mouth. And sometimes there are times when people do things to you, you know, especially your loved ones, the one that you care about. They're the very one you expect not to do anything to you. Or there's a sister and brother in the church that you get along with and you become friends with and then all of a sudden you feel like that person will never be able, will never do anything to hurt me and then they do something. You don't know how to describe it. But you say, wait a minute now. This person I care about and I know they care about me, but uh, I just don't know how to feel about that. That left a bad taste in my mouth. Right? right? Y'all stay with the preacher now. There have been some times when people have done stuff to you to where it, 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 was, it left such a bad taste in your mouth, your whole relationship with them changed. Amen, clock on the wall. Amen. Folks in the church, they here. Amen. 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 We've all had relationships yes. that we have no longer the way they used to be simply because Something happened in that relationship that left the relationship feeling differently than what we thought it was supposed to be and what we thought it was supposed to stay like. We get comfortable. We get comfortable. We get comfortable feeling a certain way around a certain person, and we don't want that person feeling making us feel any different, especially around other folk that make us feel like. Well, you didn't have to tell me that in front of them. Mm -hmm. Make them feel some kind of way. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to call your attention to First Peter, chapter 2, verse number 1. <coughs> and I'm going to read something to you, and I'm going to highlight certain things as we go. First Peter, chapter 2, verse 1 says, Therefore, let us celebrate the feast. Highlight feast in your mind. Not with old leaven. Highlight old leaven. 
We're going to have a feast, but not with old leaven. What is old leaven? We get to it. Nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness. Now, that's for me now. I don't know about you all, but for me, that kind of covers everything. Amen. Mm -hmm. But then he went on, point some things out. He said, but don't, 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 don't feast on stuff like that. But feast with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Amen. We say it all the time. You know, I just want you to tell me the truth. We tell folks that all the time. <coughs> I want the truth. I don't care, Brother Stanley. I just want people to be honest and truthful with me. That's what we say. And then sometimes the people that we thought would never hurt us tell us sincere truth. That's what we are told we are to be feasting on. Sincerity and truth. But when the person that we are friends with or members of our family or members of our church or special member in our community, I'm talking about those people who do things to us that leave a bad taste in our mouth. People that we don't like don't leave bad taste in our mouth. We don't care about them. We ain't talking, we don't care about, we're talking about people that we like and who we have let into our inner self. We set expectation for them. And when they let us down, they leave a bad taste in our mouth. We don't care for them the way we used to. I didn't think. The Bible said we should be we should be feasting on sincerity and truth. Mm -hmm. But now you also need to put something else aside. Not only malice and wickedness, but let's name a few things. Wow. Brother Stanley, you might not get past this first first uh Scripture for today. He said, put aside anger when those people that I like and those people that I've let inside my inner circle do something to me and leave a bad taste in my mouth, I get angry with them. The Bible said, put it aside. Amen. But you know what we do? We get angrier. Mm -hmm. They know they better not come around me. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, now. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. They better, I, they know not to say nothing to me. Mm -hmm. They better not say nothing to me. Amen. The Bible said, put aside anger, mm -hmm. wrath. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on there. Where's my blood pressure medicine? <laughs> Where's my blood pressure medicine? We got so mad, the pressure. Mm -hmm. ah, it's better to do something to somebody. The Bible says, we are to feast. Not on old stuff. We keep bringing up stuff. Mm. Amen. Bringing up stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. Always bringing up stuff. Mm. Mm. Yes. Folks, always talking about church and the Christians need to have a vision, but we always bringing up stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. Just leave a bad taste in my mouth. They always bringing up stuff. They should, too, leave a bad taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Tell you something about it, too. <laughs> Slander. Mm -mm, that ain't what I said. Mm -hmm. Somebody has slandered my words. Put it aside. We always want to come. Uh uh. Ain't nobody going to talk about me like that. I'm going to. Uh uh. The Bible says a good name is better than gold. I'm going to clear my name. Ain't nobody asks you to be clean those names. Mm -hmm. Check up. Amen. That slander, breath standing, the Bible said put it aside. Mm -hmm. Didn't tell you to do nothing about it. You are not to do anything about something you can't do anything about. What are you going to do? Go tell somebody, I'm angry at you. What is it going to do? Nothing. I'm just going to be angry. What is it going to do? It's going to be going to do it. I mean, it's a sin in the world. If it's a sin in the world, you know, anger and wrath and malice and all those other things, you're way up there. Slander, abusive speech, always. You don't have to curse people out to be abusing people. Amen. Amen. As a Christian, you ought to know better. We know we're going to be slandered. Mm -hmm. Satan is of the world. Go out there doing good if you want to see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. We're going to hear kind of little old goody two shoe. Mm -hmm. well, what's so bad about being a goody two shoe anyway? Mm -hmm. Somebody got to be a goody two shoe. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Gonna be a bad or two shoe? <laughs> Bad or one shoe. <laughs> Gotta be good, good people in this world doing good things to keep people hope where it need to be in the Lord. Amen. If we, okay, let me 
let me talk a little bit about spite and malice, because I need I need for people to because we sometimes we we hide behind it and our feeling for each other. Sometimes we hide behind spite and malice because we feel like they're the hardest to find or identify. Let me give you a few examples in the Bible about malice and, and, and spite, so you'll know. Genesis 19, 27, 30, they said to one another, here comes that dreamer. They talking about Joseph. Mm -hmm. This is that malice now, spite. Now then, come, let us kill and throw him into one of the pits. And we'll say, a wild beast devoured him. Then let us see what will become of his dream. Mm -hmm. Listen to that. My gift is not dreaming. And so much attention is on Joseph because that's his guilt. I'm going to do something to hinder that guilt. Mm -hmm. Watch yourself. Watch out yourself. All they can think about is what the old man felt about Joseph. Not about what they could have been doing to make the old man feel something about them. Mm -hmm. Malice. Watch the next, watch the next Genesis 4 5. But for Cain and for his offering, he had no regard. So Cain became very angry and his countenance failed. God had no regard for Cain's offering, so he get mad at his brother. Mm -hmm. If you are not doing what pleases the law, or, or if you are doing a certain thing, that leave bad taste in people's mouth, why are you mad at other people? Mm. Speak, brother. Because they can't Why? You, you got to ex... You, here, I heard some stuff you. I heard you, and you're absolutely right. You can't... Because when you come to the point to where you can accept this is who you are, and you come to the point to where you want to change, everybody ought to want to change. If you're a Christian, you're not want to change. Something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, true. Okay? Yeah. Somebody can point out, the devil points out your wrong, you know it's your wrong, you don't get right because it's the devil. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You and the devil go in the same place if you don't change. Amen. 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 Okay. Luke 11 and 54 says, plotting against him to catch him. And so we talked about that last week. Plotting against the Lord to catch him in the line. They mm. brought that woman before. Throw her out there. Look, we caught this lady. Didn't bring the man. Mm -mm, caught this lady in the act of adultery. Plot. They want to see what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. He said nothing. A lot of times when people do what we say, like leave a bad taste in our mouth, hurt us, most of the time the best thing to do is the example that Christ gave. Mm -hmm. Do nothing. That's right. Amen. Amen. You don't feed into mess. You take mess one place, guess what it's going to be? At the place you take it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then you let folks in at that place you take it, take it to another place, you've left a, you've left a messy trail. Mm -hmm. The Bible said in 1 Peter 2 and 1 that we are to feast on truth and sincerity. Mm -hmm. That will never leave a bad taste in your mouth. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, it, it's just a, to me now, y'all you, you, can tell me what y'all think. It's just a a freedom to me to be able to tell people the truth Amen. when they ask of you. Tell it's just a freedom to me. I don't. I, I can't hold you know because this is who you are. And so I can't hold truth from my wife, even if she's my wife. Just because I feel a certain way. About, what kind of way would I, would I be doing that to her? I wouldn't even be doing her right. right. Amen. Then why we do it to each other? I would tell them, but I see somebody here. I'm just saying because something you're not telling the truth. It, it, it weighs on you because you can always think you got to come up with this thing. But when the truth, it lifts the burden. Yes, the truth lifts the burden. Mm -hmm. you, 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 can't, you can't go around, I, I wish they would say something to me. I'm going to tell them this. Truth is, you're not going to tell them because you don't want to approach them. Amen. If you want to be freed from someone's control over you, we're going to talk about that a little bit. Amen. You know, sometimes we get angry with people. We get to the point where you just hate people. Mm -hmm. Hatred for people is like mm -hmm. drinking poison and waiting for other folk to die. Mm -hmm. It affects only you. Mm -hmm. Hate people. All right? I want to say, in spite of being sold into slavery, falsely jailed, despised by his brothers, Joseph still rose to, the, to be the savior for their nation in times of, of little. This could have left a bad taste in Joseph's mouth, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yes. Woo! Now you know, 
We fall out with our sisters and brothers. Over little stuff. What? Over little stuff. What you say? Look, mama can pass or daddy can pass. We fall out about the color of daddy's suit. Amen. You know daddy like brown. Well. But daddy look good in that blue. You don't remember when daddy used to wear that blue all the time? Yeah, but daddy's favorite color was brown. <laughs> daddy get, end up getting buried in yellow. Trying to satisfy everybody. What about that? Is that all right? That's mama's color. Yeah, don't talk about the money. Whoa, but not be the money. <laughs> it's over. Money? It's over. Things. Money, things, and every, every other thing mm -hmm. stands in the way of us having a relationship with God. Forget about our brothers and sisters. Amen. Forget about how I got a lesson that's coming up. If you think that God hear you in the condition that you are with the relationship you have with your brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you, no, he does not. Amen. You ain't seen him. The Lord hear a sinner's prayer. That's all you aspire to be? <laughs> well, all you aspire to be is a sinner that God hears. Oh, well, I got a whole other lesson for that. Funny. They sold him into slavery. Yeah, it would have left a bad taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. But instead, he decided to help them and to love them in spite Amen. of. Stop yes. right there. Amen. Stop right there. We don't get any further than where we are right now. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anyone has left. They could have left a real bad taste in your mouth. And I know the type of, listen, I haven't lived on this earth almost for as long as I have. Not knowing that there are people that will do things to you that will leave a bad taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Especially relatives or especially yeah. friends that are close to you or especially yeah. long life friends or why, why you call them relatives? Why you messing with brothers? Who else you let your inner circle that close? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We all have favor rights. <laughs> and when you let them in close and they hurt you, you fall out with them. Mm -hmm. You need to take a lesson we always talk about. We want to be like Jesus. We need to be like more like Joseph. Amen. And start forgiving people. Listen, listen to your preacher real good. good and you all will tell me what you think about this statement I'm about to make. I'm going to say. There are some people who are going to be that way to you in your life no matter what you do or say. They're going to be that way. What means, Mr. Stanley? What way? That way. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. The one that's always going to just, they just uh, they're going to be that way. Mm -hmm. You're not going to change them. You're, you've been with them all their life, and they've been with you all your life. Have you changed them? Mm -hmm. What you need to understand is the only person in that scenario that needs to change is moi. Mm -hmm. Change me. That's what I mean. How somebody else is going to, would you want somebody to change you if you were comfortable being you? I've lived all this life to be who I am and I'm comfortable because I know I love me some me. I love who I am. Amen. And I don't want nobody to come along changing me because I'm comfortable who I am, right? Amen. Let my grandson have a baby. I got to change. You got to change. I ain't going to like it. But I'm going to change. Are you not going to change? Amen. Yes, you're going to change. You have to change for other people in your life if you want them in your life. You may say, I don't want these folks in my life. Yes, you do. How else are you going to spread the light of the Lord if you don't want these people in your life? Amen. You are, first of all, what? A servant. And we've been given a commission to do what? Serve. I don't want to serve the folks that leave bad taste in my mouth. They don't get my service. What? Come on now. It's just like a, a, your job. If you don't like your job, but you need that paycheck, and they pay you good, yes, you gonna you either gonna change your attitude about the job, or you gonna change jobs. Amen. So but, you, but the job ain't gonna change. No, they're gonna, when, when they when the other person comes there, they gonna have the same rules for that person. Mm -hmm. Right. You gonna have to learn. Even going the same job in this, in that example. Go from one job to another job to a company where you did the same job at that company you do, you're gonna have to change that. Mm -hmm. Certain things that they're not gonna be doing that they did or certain or other things you're gonna have to do along with that job. Mm -hmm. Life is a constant change. Why is it that we feel like we have to have such a bad taste in our mouth for such a long time about something somebody did to us that we once held dear to our heart? Amen. Good teacher. That's good teacher. I just don't understand it, y'all. Just one scripture here I can't get past. It said, feast on this. 
Okay, it's all hand. But Terry? I'm just saying, it's just like something that you can use for positive sake. It's just like when I was first became a truck driver, mm -hmm. and my nickname was, was Big Dog, so I had a lot of people come to me and ask me why I call myself a dog. <laughs> so I had to be positive. I said, doing <laughs> others good. <laughs> Okay. You know, right. and, and, and not only that, saying, yeah. not only that, check this out. When you out there, people that don't like you, yeah. for instance, they say, oh, here come the puppy. Yeah. The first thing I said, ain't no puppy in the dog family. What? See, you have to turn so from right. to right. pop. That's right. Amen. That's right. And, 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 and sometimes we need to be a puppy in situations. That's right. That's true. When you don't know, you better be one. Right. That's right. Definitely not there like you're a dog when you want to. It's a real dog. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. I, I got a little few things I want to run by you as it relates to forgiveness. Joseph forgave. Yes, he did. And I told you a few, one or a few minutes ago, what I'm saying is forgiveness is choosing to stay trapped in, jail, in, a, in a jail cell of bitterness, serving time for somebody else's crime. Mm. Y'all don't hear me, do you? Mm. They made you mad. You bitter with them. Mm. So you're just going to stay bitter. That's messed up. You serving time for what they did to you. Wow. Wow. Amen. Wow. That is just not right. Wow. That is not saying. <laughs> that is not a really smart thing to do at all. That's cool for that. Right you give me your time. You give me your own. You, ah, you, bro, 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 you don't get yourself time. Mm. Send us yourself to be in jail for this long. Amen. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Forgiveness, unforgiveness is like taking poison. I told you that a few minutes mm -hmm. ago. And expecting somebody else to die. You do know to unforgive somebody poisons your soul, don't you? Amen. Yes, you do. I am not going to forgive them because they did this to me, and they are supposed to never to do that to me because I am this to them. Listen to me. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say this and seem heartless, <laughs> but I got to say it to you. You ain't nobody. Amen. Amen. Who do you think you are for me not to do something to you? Amen. And they did what they did to Christ, Christ. for you. Amen. Who do you think you are? Well, that ain't going to never happen. It has been happening forever. Amen. It just hasn't happened to you. Yeah. It's been happening. People are disrespectful sometimes. Amen. Amen. People don't care about your feelings sometimes. Amen. Amen. If you hurt somebody, they're going to try to hurt you worse. Amen. People need bad taste in their mouth, especially when they hurt you worse than you tried to hurt them. Amen. Listen to what I just said. Why you got a bad taste in your mouth because you tried to hurt somebody then they got the last hurt? Oh, well, 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 yeah. uh. Say something then. Yeah, yeah, make yeah, you go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, just mad at you because, you know what, well, I'm mad at them because of what they did. No, they, I'm mad at them because they made me feel worse than what I had like to try to make them feel. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Just like, well, come on out and say it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the big it. elephant in the room. You yeah. teach it. So what we have here is two mad people uh -huh. trying to talk to God. Well, ain't gonna happen. It is not going to happen. I'm mad at my wife, she mad at me. Amen. God waiting on one of us to get some sense and talk to us. Well, he need to, somebody need to talk to me so I can tell y'all crazy stuff what to do. Well. Nobody talking to God. Two men talking about each other. Amen. To everybody else, shut your mouth, preacher. Amen. 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 They just leave a bad mouth, bad taste in my mouth. Everywhere they go, they talking about me, brother. Tell it. Well. Everywhere I go out here talk, just leave a bad taste in the way of Christian spoke to Amen. Amen. Listen to me real, 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 real good. Listen to me now, and don't, see a lot of times when I talk to y'all like this, and I try to teach y'all like this, y'all get mad at me. Mm, oh no. Don't want to come to church. Well, mm. I'm going to let them know I'm mad at them. I'm going to miss next time. <laughs> well, I, was, I, might, I might miss some of y'all next time, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> listen, listen. As long as we live, there are going to be people we love going to do things that's going to that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Amen. It's not going to ever stop. It. It's not going to ever stop. As long as you live in this world and you're caring about that person, Amen. it's not Amen. going to stop. Amen. Another thing that should never, ever stop is the love you have for that person. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Somebody did something to me. They they were my friend. Well. They shouldn't have done that to me. What do you think about Christ? What should have been done to him? Well. Man. For you. I think a lot of times we expect more from people than they expect of themselves. Hello. So we we put we expect them more for people to do things that they don't even know that we expecting of them. Amen. And then we get upset when they fall short of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. First of all, you mm -hmm. mad at me for something I didn't even know that you wanted me to be responsible to you for. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And then. Yeah. And then. That's why you need to, to get up and come to Sunday school and come to church and keep reading your Bible. Yes. Because you always can learn. Yes. See, it's a learning just because you know, you think you know a lot. You always can learn. Yes, you learn can, brother. Yes, you, you can. You got to learn how to treat other people. And I'm going to do like they got to learn how to treat you. And because Brother Bill said I'm going to tell you all right now, your preacher is going to recommit himself to teaching. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stand up preaching. Y'all know I can preach. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you. Amen. There's some things we need to know up front. All these elephants Amen. in the room. Ain't nobody want to talk about all these big, beautiful, Hello. pink, blue, and brown elephants. Amen. Amen. Let's talk about why you all in here, Brother Lee. <laughs> yeah, you know, some, sometimes we, we fall out with, with, with so-called friends, but then we end up replacing them with somebody that's even worse. Worse. Oh. Amen. Oh, you said something. You said something. You said something. You said something. What? Y'all yeah. remember that my son about cleaning the house, didn't you? Yeah. You clean house with everybody. I don't want to be friends with him no more. You go right out there and make you some more friends. The, the Bible says he came back with seven more more dangerous than the last one. Yeah. Yeah. You better be careful. I want a friend that's going to tell me the truth. going to keep hurt my business. Amen. All right? One more thing. When it's all boiled down, unforgiveness is hatred. Mm. Amen. Oh. Raise your hand if you think you're going to heaven with hatred in your heart. Mm. 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 You better sit on your hand. <laughs> People can make you not like them. People can make you not desire to be around them because they Amen. act a certain way. But people can never, should never, make you hate them. Amen. Amen. That's good teaching right there. Never. As a Christian, you can't hate. Amen. You have no excuse to even hate. Amen. That's heaven bad. What's hating? You know what hate you think hating things are. Hate, hate, hateful things are things where you lay trap for people when they don't even know they got to go that route. Amen. You figure out they're going to have to come this way, so I'm going to lay, lay a trap. Mm -hmm. That's hate. you giving some thought to how you can hurt somebody. Yeah. That's hate. When they don't even go the route that you've designed, you go pick that trap up, Brother Bill, and lay it the other way out. Who am I trapping, sister, y'all? <laughs> In Matthew 6, 9 through 13, we're given the model prayer. Mm -hmm. Lord prayer, what we call it. In that prayer, Jesus told us to pray what? Amen. And forgive us our what? Yes. And we forgive our what? Yes. So what? They've done something to leave a bad taste in my mouth. Raise your hand if you want to get up every morning with a bad taste in your mouth, and when you brush, you're still there. Mm-mm. What's wrong with this toothpaste? Lord, how many this is the third toothpaste I done brushed with? You need to get rid of that bad taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You can't brush your teeth with some skull jacked off into the corner over there and you still think you're going to be fresh, minty. Been Get rid of that bad taste in your mouth. Man. The Bible said we can't expect folks to forgive us if we can't, ex if we can't forgive other people. Amen. But Brother Stanley, you just don't know. They did a lot to me. If it measures up to Christ, I am your captive audience. You can Amen. talk to me all night. Amen. If it measures up to what they did to Christ in one moment, mm -hmm. you and I got conversation. Amen. If you can't talk to me about what, don't don't, don't do that to yourself because I'm going to say something. You're going to probably be like, oh, he didn't have to say that to me. My expectation, if you know known better, than to say that to your preacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello? Amen. Amen. I, I'm a, I don't, a lot of you all are getting to the point where you really see it now. Because I'm, I ain't, I'm not going to be moved and swayed by nothing but faith Amen. in God. Amen. The Spirit, I can't, Amen. like people talk about me all the time. He don't do nothing, he don't go nowhere, he don't go see nobody, he don't want to do nothing no more. It's, it, they just don't see what I see, I'm doing so much stuff everywhere else that don't pertain to what 
they see me and should, should be doing. So we get the impression sometimes that people don't want to do nothing. Yeah. Right? So people say certain things about you. Sometimes you be like, I wish I could do more. I wish I could do more. I stopped saying that. I wish I could do more. I get up in the morning and I say, Lord, I'm ready to go where you send me. I'm ready to go where you send me. Do what you want me to do. Just help me to do it in the spirit and the tone. It need to be done. Here. If you haven't gotten to that point with the Lord, you're going to wake up every morning with a bad taste in your mouth, being bitter about something somebody did to you that don't amount to nothing. And you're going to keep going back to that old, old living bread. Amen. Who want to keep opening up wounds? You almost heal. You open it back up. Can you see that now? Somebody pierce you. Somebody do, does something to you that leave a bad taste in your mouth, bro, Bill. But you got to the point to where you got you 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 have learned to live in such a way to where that that wound has begun to heal. Maybe you 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 decided I can't see them in these circumstances anymore. Maybe I need to see them in these circumstances. Maybe I can accept them in this way. Maybe I. But you begin to heal, right? Then you see them again in a circumstance that you don't expect. And then you would peel that back over. Look, I was about to heal now, but I'm going to peel this back over. I don't know. I might let myself bleed to death today. I don't know. <laughs> How that sound to you? <laughs> Somebody going to do something to you to make you so bad to where you want to kill yourself? <laughs> That's what hatred is doing to you. <laughs> Hello? It's a slow, painful, steady kill. Keep opening it, it won't get wet. Amen. But if you don't forgive other folks, according to Matthew 6, 9, 13, neither will your father forgive you your trespasses. Amen. We all have faults. Yes. The only difference between people who do stuff to us that leave a bad taste in our mouth and us is that we keep bringing it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me, let me get back here behind this sign and say that. <laughs> The only difference between other folks and the people who put prick us in the side, we keep reminding folks of our pricks. Mm. Other folks going on. Yes. Mm. That's right. There are some people in this world you would never know they've had, they've come through this type of life that they've had. That's right. Don't even talk about it. That showed them. The people in their life that know about it, they bring it up, sometimes they get kind of uncomfortable wanting to talk about it because it's healing. Mm -hmm. they, find a, they have found a way to cope with something that has made them sick to their stomach. Mm -hmm. They've learned to cope with it, and they don't want nobody messing with it. Mm -hmm. But us, yeah. shoot, we are like people who've caught fresh fish, yeah. and we put ice on it, and it's noontime, and the ice melts, and we go and get some more ice. Just because we want to keep it alive. <laughs> Look, that fish almost died. You can't sell it in a live fish if it died. Put some more ice on it. We want to keep it alive so we can keep talking about Let stuff alone so the situation can heal. That's right. Amen. Christians who will not forgive others will not be heard when they are asked for forgiveness. All prayers are useless. Unless we forgive others. Amen. Y'all hear you preaching? Amen. Amen. You know we say we some praying people. We got praying warriors. We got praying church. We got praying families. We got praying, praying. Mm -hmm. Useless if the prayer haven't forgiven. Amen. Back a while ago when you said people be saying, Lord, he is a prayer. Yeah. But do he answer? Hello. Hello. Ain't joking. Uh, uh, the Lord ain't Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Santa Claus will give some of these bad children something they don't deserve sometimes. Mm -hmm. They deserve cold in the sock, but they get a Nintendo. Mm -hmm. And we'll tell them now, you know, you didn't work for this Christmas. You consider this your birthday present that's coming up in July. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just didn't want you to open up on Christmas Day and not have nothing. You didn't deserve it. <laughs> the Lord gonna give you what you deserve, and if you don't deserve to be heard by Him, you ain't gonna be heard by Him. 
Not with old leaven. Leaven is the remnant of dough left over from a previous batch. Y'all know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Y'all make biscuits. When they cut the biscuits out, old school. Y'all know that. Preacher don't know about cut them biscuits out. Put them in your little pan. You turn to your counter and you say, what? You got them little funny shapes of dough still left out there. It's the remnants. Y'all pick them up and put them over there and what y'all call them? Hokey. Okay. <laughs> That's more than a biscuit. <laughs> That's the hokey biscuit. Hello? Yeah. Remnant. <laughs> the Lord don't want rep left over. He want a biscuit. Amen. Don't want no hokey. The Lord want a biscuit. The shape of a biscuit. The taste of a biscuit. A biscuit. He want a Christian. Amen. <coughs> he want a Christian that forgives. Mm -hmm. He want a Christian that's able to let stuff run off his back like a duck. Amen. Water. He want a Christian that's going to love regardless of what taste somebody left in their mouth. Amen. You going to be a Christian or you going to be a person with bad taste? What you going to okay. be? I'm going to be a Christian too, Brother Bill. Amen. Y'all hear me say it all the time, and I'll say it right now, especially in this incident. I ain't letting nobody send me to hell. Amen. I'm going to be the best version of me I could possibly be if it kills them. <laughs> Amen. Preach ain't got no bit to say in there. Listen, I ain't dying for them. Amen. Couldn't even die for myself. The Lord didn't do that for me. What I like dying for somebody else? Amen. I'm going to hate somebody straight on the death. Uh uh uh. <laughs> No. Mm -mm, you're going to get love from me. Send it love him. Amen. You think I love him up there talking about how much he love me love. and greeting me with smiles and stuff. I don't love him. I don't care. That's all right. You're going to get it from me. Amen. Me too. You're going to get it from me. Amen. I ain't hating myself. Jeff Carter feel no going to be wrong. Hating somebody feel good. <laughs> Amen. When you hate people that you know deserve it, in that moment, it feel good. But Stanley, you ain't supposed to be saying nothing like that. I'm going to tell you the truth. It feels good to you because at that moment you ain't seen. <laughs> it's going to feel good to you. You tell me a sinner who sin don't feel good to me. Hello? So get to the point where hate somebody feel good. You know you've traveled down that road too long. So look, at I've been in this road too long. Hey, it don't get too long. Let me. <laughs> now, I'm talking about trying to get to salvation. Hello, this road of hatred don't lead to salvation. This road to where people leave bad uh, taste in my mouth and I got to go around hating them because they make me feel this way. I can't get to salvation. Amen. What's my purpose? Yeah. What's my purpose? I come to church. I do good by people. I try to treat people right. And then I got this person here who leave a bad taste in my mouth. But I still keep coming to church. And I try to treat everybody else right. But I got this person over here that leave a bad taste in my mouth. But I still keep coming to church. And I do good. And I give. And I do that. What's my purpose? Mm. No you can't go to heaven with that. In the words of Grandmother Rosa Lane, if you offend in one point, you know, you guilty. You know. the mouth. You can't be telling me I'm a good Christian except when it comes to loving Brother Julian. Yeah. 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 Now the rest of my church, I love them to death. Now Brother Julian, mm -mm, the Lord got to work with me on that. The Lord got to work with me on that. What that sound like? But we do that though, brother. We do it. We do it though. But when you say it out loud, you see how crazy that sounds? It does sound crazy. We have got to stop singling out who we care for when the Lord tells us we need to love everybody Amen. regardless of how they make you feel. Amen. You're going to come across people in your life that are going to make you feel bad? Amen. That's life. Amen. When these babies go out to school, they're going to run into some people they're going to make a friend with. They're going to last them a lifetime. They're going to also run into people that they're going to run into that they're going to be enemies for a lifetime. Yeah, I ain't got along with him since we were third grade. I got one now. We talked to him now. He's still my enemy. I don't like him. <laughs> I love him. I don't wish I don't throw no trap for him anyway. He don't like me either. <laughs> We've learned not to like each other, but love each other. And love each other's family and ask about each other's family. We get along cordial like people live in the same community supposed to. 
Amen. Amen. Just because there are certain things about him I don't like, I can't, I can't love him at all. Mm -hmm. Well, Damn. come on now. Damn. You tell me if that makes sense, even for folks that's not out there, don't know the Lord like you spoke to them. Well, when you know the Lord, he'll Lord. guide you to where you need to be, but you have to leave yourself receptive to what he say you need to do, not what you feel. Amen. Because right. think about it now, feeling is what got us here in the first place. Mm -hmm. We feel like somebody who was close to us, hurt us to the point that we left a bad taste in our mouth. Amen. We don't know how to forgive them. That's what we started to say, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about Joseph and what happened to Joseph and how he ought to felt about his brothers, right? Mm -hmm. These were blood brothers. These blood brothers, I told y'all. You only talk about the ones that are close to you who can do certain things to you. The other folks don't matter. Mm -hmm. You don't care about no enemy doing nothing to you. You, you saw that coming. <laughs> right. Right? The one close. So when they do certain things, look what Joseph did. He saved his brother. Right. He ain't talking about they coming from where? Uh-uh. Those are the brothers that th threw me in there, left me for dead. I'm out with the prison. My whole life changed because they threw me away from my dad. Amen. He could have had a bitter taste in the mouth. Amen. But guess what he did? He said, had they not done that to me, I wouldn't be in this position now to save the world as I knew it. There's a reason people come into your life and certain things are being done to you. Stop trying to draw attention to what you think being done to you and try to understand the lesson that the Lord is trying to teach you why it's being done. Amen. That's the teaching I think. That's, That's what we need to start doing. We Amen. put too much, we put the light on too much of the, you remember what, this Hatfield and McCoy idea about we got to be forever enemies need to stop. Amen. Amen. They need to stop. And it need to stop when minister call it out. If it's happening, it need to stop and be called out. Amen. Amen. So what you have bad tape left in your mouth? Brush. There you go. Brush the word. The word is That's what I do. And when brushing don't work and you ain't got you ain't in a no. place where you can brush. There you go. No. Hello. <laughs> you ain't got no business with a bad tape in your mouth. Amen. You know what people call that when you got that bad taste? Bad what, Brad? <laughs> Hello? People don't want to be around people got a bad breath. Man. All the time, they come this bad breath because they're always talking about folks that did something to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello? People don't have time for it. Amen. You shouldn't have time for it. Amen. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. God got something he want you to do and he can't do it for you. What you holding on to this, please, he'll prove it to you as soon as you let go. I promise you. Right away. When you let go, he'll prove it to you right away so you'll know it's him. Amen. Let it go. Let it go. Don't let people keep that much control of you. I hope you learned something this morning as it relates to our Sunday school lesson. I know it's a few minutes over. Oh, Lord, I'm more than a few minutes over. We're going to do this next Sunday. We're going to put you short. We owe you a few minutes. Thank you for joining us out there. And at this particular time, we leave room for any special statement or request anyone want to make at this particular time before we have a verse of a song, and then we'll be dismissed.